Pluto had it coming. What is the deal with Pluto? Get over it. Is it Next just, question. It, <laughs> is it just hanging out in space? <laughs> okay. Some of you may know I am implicated in the demotion of Pluto. I did not pull the trigger, but I definitely drove the getaway car on this one. Okay, when we were redoing the planetarium, and I'm overseeing the exhibits, I saw the trend lines in what was happening with Pluto, and I wanted to future-proof the exhibits. So when we opened in the year 2000, we took Pluto and put it in a different part of the exhibit floor with other dirty ice balls in the outer solar system, <laughs> leaving the eight <clears throat> main planets together. Someone from the New York Times noticed this and wrote a page one story that said, Pluto not a planet, only in New York. <laughs> and that's when hate mail started flowing into my office from pissed off third graders who had just memorized <clears throat> the nine planets and now there's only eight of, I have a file cabinet of angry letters. Okay, um, Pluto had it coming. First of all, <laughs> most Pluto lovers I've met do not know the following three facts. One, our moon has five times the mass of Pluto. <laughs> Two, more than half of Pluto's volume is made of ice. So that if Pluto were where Earth is right now, heat from the sun would evaporate that ice and it would grow a tail which is no kind of behavior for a planet. <laughs> Third, Pluto has an orbit that is so elongated that it crosses the orbit of another planet. This is, vi this, excuse me, no, no. <laughs> so we finally set up a set of rules, rules and regulations, such that Pluto is kicked out of the planet club. It's still a dwarf planet. But I think it's happier there. It's one of the biggest dwarf planets. <laughs>